Hi there viewers, hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this episode, I'll be talking about some of the trends, the revolutions, the discoveries, the directions, the great styles during the Cameroon International Film Festival Max slash Mascara Party. A lot of amazing craft were present at the red carpet and I couldn't hold my breath to take this moment to present to you what some of our celebrities, some of our designers, some other people who came in for the Max Party gave it to us. Let's get to the show you all are welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome back. From the smile on my face, you know a lot is going on. Since I started presenting on Camille, I haven't had an exciting moment that has captured my mind as the Max Party took over me. These are the top looks that caught my attention on the red carpet during the Max Gala. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the first person for the red carpet at the Max slash Masquerade Party of the Camille Festival, Hail Stephanie Thune. I love her outfit. She doesn't disappoint on the red carpet. When you call Stephanie Thune, you call fashion. You call red carpet, you call everything you know. She is just on point with the outfit. Now, she didn't carry much on her. She just came with this black dang fabric and the gold silk material. I love her outfit. First of all, your designer did a great job for just, for just making it black down there, just to be straight up. Then the, the black attachment, they brought it up there for the hand level. It was good on point. Then the silk, the gold silk material used at this upper part of her dress was good. Then the beads, white beads added on it made it look so good. She had this calf that was embroidered that came down a little bit on her face to make it look like a mask. She was looking fabulously good. Her makeup was on point. She, she had just this small purse that she had in her hand. Her sandals are good too for the outfit. Everything was perfectly done. She was ready for the red carpet. And there she is, Stephanie too. Now, when you talk about creativity in an outfit, you talk about the style, you talk about somebody who has prepared himself and he was like, I am preparing to go and steal the red carpet. It's Simad Achu Famine. I love the way he came out for the red carpet. The guy was prepared because he was like, let me take this time. If, if it is only the max gala that I will go, let me make sure that I will steal that party. Let me make sure that I will steal that red carpet. People will know that the guy came prepared. I love what he is wearing. I love the creativity. I love this he brought about on the red carpet. Now, his outfit was glamorous. His outfit was portrayed a lot. You can see. First of all, I love his shoes. They were good to go. And then he just wore his black trousers. Very simple, good. Then I love what he's wearing inside that looks like a net. It's good too. It matches with the gloves on his hands. Then this suit part that he brought, this was the choking part of it that brought about the craft. It doesn't really go down like onto his waist actually. It ends on the halfway. Then he has this craft that is being brought out there. The fabric is good. Then, what he places on his face like a mask to brought out the unique style of the dressing. I love your outfit. You are good to go. You came prepared for the mask party. When I talk about revelations, this was one of the outfits. I was going for it. Guy, you killed it at the mask gala. Now, the next person I have here is Ben Lillian of Cairo and Kofis. I love her outfit. She didn't carry much on her. She just came in in a very simple and eye-catching look. I love her outfit. She just wore these black trousers and the suit. And then she has this uh, bra that she wears inside her outfit. Her sandals. And I love the fabric of the suit. The fabric of the suit was so good. Her hair. She just came in with a plain, simple, good-looking mask that she wore on her face. She was just straightforward on the red carpet. The next person who came out with a very catching outfit to portray at the Max party was Lovett, Copies. 
I love his outfit. He came out in this gas by look with his mask. He was looking like a real gent in this elegant way. I love his outfit. He had two pieces of coat on him, his shirt and his trousers. I love the fabric of the bigger coat he has on him, which is made up of gold and black. Then he has this other coat inside again, which he comes up with another shining piece, which is good. Then he has a black shirt inside. He wears it over a black pair of trousers and then his shoes. He has this simple cleat yellow max that goes with the gold on a bigger jacket he has on him. I love the gas bike look he brought about in the max party. Copies you prepare for the max party and you have given to us what we wanted. Another person who captured my attention during the Max Gala was Musing Derry. I love his outfit. He just came in very simple, plain, and he was looking good. He had this shirt on him, matching with a pair of trousers. His shoes, he just wore this Max to let it go. There was no much chucking on it. He was so much free. The outfit is simple, straight to the point, and good for the red carpet. Another person on the red carpet who brought in a great style that was in the direction and that was training was Paul Elonge. Woo! 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 Auntie Felicia. When I say gentlemen are there for the colors, you guys think I'm joking. Look at this outfit. He was well prepared for the Max Gala. I love his outfit that he brought out there. The sensation. First of all, let's look at his trousers. I love this ox blood that is being portrayed here on his trousers. I love the fabric. It's cool. It strikes the point. Then moving on to his suit. I love the color of his suit. The dark ox blood portrayed down there on his suit to design it, the downer part. Then coming to the upper part, this gold classic designing fabric used again upper here. It makes him look more classic. His white shirt. He wears a black bow tie. Then, the chain that passes on it, that has a grief here that holds the Osborne linen fabric that falls on the ground. He wears a normal black mask. This is the royalty. This is the king of the red carpet. This is the king of the Max Gala. Paul Elunge, everything is composed, everything he brought together had a top class niche on it. His shoes is black. It goes with his tie. His trousers goes with the linen that falls down. Then the fabric up here, attached to the one down here, on his coat matches together. His white shirt, the chain passes on it. That everything is classic. Everything is elegant. This is a gent that studied himself that studied what is called a mad slash masquerade party a gent that decided to say yes let me crown it every all I am the king of the max party and I'm going out there for you guys to see me Paul Elonge, it seems as if you knew that you were the king that is why you had to put that attachment that falls down there because we know royalties when they're walking you stay with the dress of the king is ruling on the ground guy you got me. This one is perfecto. Moving to the next, another person that brought in an interesting outfit at the red carpet. I call this the Thames way is Black Cariton. She is a fashion designer. I love the sensation of this outfit she brought into it. We know something like this as she has up there, has been training on the media. I saw this on Nicki Minaj. I saw this on Thames. And and I've seen this on black on the way she designed her outfit. First of all, this is creativity. That's why I said I love the sensation of this Max Gala because it brought a lot of direction, it brought a lot of great style, it brought a lot of revealing, and it brought a lot of discovery once more. I love everything she brought in. First of all, let me start with the downer section of her dress. She didn't bring a lot of colors, but the ash and the black with the little texture of flourish design upper here and down there make it look good. First of all, I love that touch of red flourish 
ring that is played down there on the outfit. When I saw it, I was like, you know, this is the Bamenda marking. But I looked at it in another way. I was like, girl, you know how to portray yourself. I love the way the dress is being designed down there. It comes um, on a flourish way. Then it comes up the way it fits her very well. Then the upper part of the dress, the way she plays with it, that carries on this section that she covers her face with it like a mask. We know most of the time the downer section of the dress actually has a lot of work for designers to make it fall behind. But actually here it is being placed in front. She brings the style to place in front. I love what she does down on her knee area down there, the way she plays about it. The flourish design she came about that area. Then coming up to her waist, then I look at how she designs the upper part to make it handless. The little flower she adds around the breast level makes it look classic. She looks good in her outfit. A little problem I had here was her slipper she wore, but yet she was good to go. I love the creativity of this outfit. Girl, I am sure you took months to come out with something like this. You were prepared for the Camille's Max Party, and there you go. You had the mind, you had everything, and you captured the red carpet. Now, from all indication, I saw that the guys were ready for this Camille. The guys were prepared. That is why the next person I have here is Dorcas Celestine. I love the outfit. My guys are there to rock the colors. My guys were prepared. They know what they came for. They did not come to joke. They came to say, I'm going to give them what they want. I'm going to show them the light. Any corner you stand, when you spot me, when you spot my dress, you will know this is Dorcas. I love this green outfit. He came on the red carpet with it. First of all, there is not too much about it, but it is it's very gent. Now, he comes in with his trousers that matches with his suit, then with his shirt, then he has a belt on it, then, then, oh, this guy added a fabric on it that looks a different color, that makes it look unique. Then his mask is a simple mask that he places on his face, and he's saying that, I know I am the owner of myself. I know I am elegant. I know I am the real gent. I know I can move on that red carpet and nobody will tell me. But if they want to be, at least I have confidence in myself. And it was how the cast came up with the red carpet. Guy, you nailed it. You studied, you did your assignment, and you delivered. This is what I call bringing colors together. Now, another person that gave me a big wow on the red carpet. I didn't expect this, but I love the creativity. I came daring Isidore Breeze. He is a model. This, <laughs> the outfit, these guys were daring. There was a message they were passing out, like, we have been slow in the fashion way, in our entertainment. Let's make the world know that we are prepared. Let's take this opportunity once a year, an international festival, and give it out and dish it to the world. What? This guy came in like this. When I saw it, I was like, guy, you are revealing. Guy, this is discovering. Guy, this is trends. He just came in with everything black on him. On another note, when I looked at it, I was like, is this a shock or not a shock? But let me look at it very well. And when I picture it from the upper part, I discovered that this is a craft that he brought in that was spectacular. First of all, I love trousers that he brought in. He didn't attach up to his stomach like a waist belt. Then he has this light, transparent fabric, which he uses it to cover his body. Then the back part that is like open up, the design side, then added with his max up, it's a one side max covered up. He came out this way, I love his looks, I love the outfit, he was good for the max masquerade party. 
The max part in which comes from up, that begins from the neck, he covers his face and is transparent. He could see himself, he knows where he is going, he is focused. I love the sensation of this outfit, I love the craft in it. Guy, you did it on your own and this is good. Moving to the next, another person who caught my attention through the mass red carpet was Flora Flora Mystico. I love her outfit, she came out with this red gown. I love the way the upper part of her dress is embroidered. Then you have the split down there on the gown, which is just straight up good. Her sandals, her max as well is red. She was looking so simple. She was having the vibes of a Mac Gala and there she is, she gave us this look on the red carpet. Another person that caught my attention on the red carpet that gave me the vibes is Candy Loris. And uh, she came out with this outfit and I was like, alright, you understood what you had to do and you came out the way it is. She came out all in black, first of all. Nothing like extra you need to cause chaos. No, she was just like, okay, let me go there and give them what they want, what they ask for. She came out with this outfit. First of all, girl, I love your shoes. And then her jumpsuit, what she wears, is straight up to the point. I love the upper part of it with the separate robes it shows. Then her mask that she brought in portrays her looks. Then she has this whip on her hand. Her skin tone is beautiful, it just made her dress so much portraying in her. She came in with this amazing look for the red carpet. Now, another person who reviewed another great style of fashion was Don Gia Casil, the CEO of Jack Fashion. He's a fashion designer, he came out with this Xing Shong Chinese look. <laughs> Actually, I brought it here because I love the creativity he brought about everything green on him just bring in a lot of creativity though it's kind of not that much showing the max he went an extra mile to copy it from the Chinese community to bring this it's a good outfit for me another person that gave me a very simple look at the max party was Clemento I love his outfit he came out like a gentleman with his black suit his black trousers his black shirt then he has this chain pass on his suit, his bow tie, and then with his max, his low shoes, he was get to go, he just looked straight up, a simple gen, which was good for the max party, and there he is. This was my top outfit at the max party that gave me the urge. I saw that we were prepared, we were ready to give out everything we have for the max party, for us to train, for us to look classic, and for us to be at the top. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do me a favor to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, to like this video if you haven't liked the video, and to share the video. Until then, see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.